So today's exercise is an attempt to counteract the effects of planned obsolescence. Uh, this is a, a gaming mouse, or a gamer mouse. Um, it's about four years old. Since I'm having so much trouble with just regular mice giving out on me, I thought, get a gamer mouse. They'll be, you know, take they'll take the punishment. So as I say, I got this <laughs> about four years ago. And about two years in, the main left mouse button becomes intermittent. Um, so I've been meaning for a long time to see if I can replace it or swap it over with the right one. Uh, and it looks like I can do a swap over because they're both the same switch. So I should be able to just flip them over. The whole thing had this slick rubber, you know, this matte rubber coating on it. And as I guess m many of you guys will know, this stuff deteriorates and goes all sticky and gooey after a couple of years. And so sure enough, it had all gone sticky and gooey up here. So I've just managed to uh, scrape it all off and then wipe it up with alcohol so we have it back where it's not all making a mess everywhere however on the sides of the actual mouse itself there are these uh, rubber type panels going down each side and they start to get a bit gooey all around the edges and so i had a look at the one on this side and uh, the glue has completely turned to guck and so, uh, I don't know if you can see it on here, see if I can zoom in a little bit on it. Um, you can see it's some sort of, uh, probably like originally maybe a double sided tape or something. But it's all gone completely meh. So yeah, we're going to have to clean all that off. I cleaned it all off on this side. Sorry, here's the panel where it goes. Not the easiest thing in the world to get off, but... Uh, I got it off in the end and so now I'll have to get it off in the back of the rubber panel so I can put that back and then I'll have to repeat the exercise on this side and then hopefully that's all the gunk uh, gone off the mouse. So having got all the gunk off uh, on both sides uh, I couldn't imagine what glue to use to fix this flexible rubber onto the plastic so I decided to go with some double sided tape. Uh, and I've put the uh, right side on and it se it'll, it seems to look okay. I have no idea if it's gonna last or endure. Time will tell. If they fall off, I'll just leave them off. <laughs> okay, that's the upper shell done. Let's see if I can uh, swap over those micro switches. Right, so uh, micro switches swapped over and we'll see if that makes a difference. Uh, that was probably the hardest part of this exercise so far. Uh, mainly because the holes in the PCB were too were very very tight fit with the pins on the uh, micro switches. Even though you could, it looked like you'd sucked all the solder out. They were a bugger to get them out of there. And then when you switch them back to get them to go back in, it was equally tr challenging. Right there we go. One gamer mouse. Hopefully um, to get another year or two out of it. <laughs>